Impact to Mars. And everywhere I look, I see Pride Month, Pride Month. I call it Immorality Month. But I'm not here to talk about that. I'm here to talk about what the less ultimate agenda is. Now, I'm going to reference an episode of Star Trek Next Generation because back in the 80s, or was it 90s, I don't know, they uh, kind of tipped their hand as to what they what the intention here is. I don't know the name of the episode because it was disgusting. I think it only played once, and it's a horrible, horrible episode. But it did tip their hands. The Enterprise visits some planet where we have an androgynous species. And Riker falls in love with an it or whatever. And that forms the basis of what the left is actually planning. They actually tip their hand. You see, now we're told that there are over 50 different genders. And the idea here is to erase the difference between genders. Something that I consider to be exceedingly offensive. Now in that episode, Riker gets into it with local authorities because it decides that it's female and... That puts him at odds both with Captain Picard and the local authorities who don't want the concept of male and female to exist. Well, that's what we have in the left. I mean, you see it everywhere. They don't want the concept of male and female to exist. They want to erase it completely. <laughs> You can uh, see that everywhere. Fifty different genders. Can't say mother, can't say father. That's what they're doing. They want to turn us into an androgynous species. I think it's interesting to note that in this episode of Star Trek The Next Generation, I don't believe they dealt with reproduction I could be mistaken about that. It's been a long time since I've watched it, and frankly, I don't care to watch it again. But, uh, frankly, I wouldn't have touched that alien either, even though the Earth people are actually the aliens, but that's getting technical. I wouldn't have touched that with a 10 foot pole. So, but the left is basically tipped his hand a long time ago as to what they were doing. They want an androgynous species. No male, no female. And apparently no reproduction. Because if you raise male and female, father, mother, you don't have zero reproduction. It's a simple physical matter that, uh, Women have to bear children in order for the human race to procreate. Now, we all know it's not a pleasant experience in many cases, but it's just the way it is. If you look in nature, everything bigger than your average nematode has some sort of male-female arrangement. That was created by God, or whatever. I'm an agnostic. But that's the way it is. Even bacteria are uh, renowned for their ability to swap pieces of DNA. That's just the way it is. And the left has the audacity they call some woman, you know, say she raised three children. She's a victim because she had children. They have the audacity to say this. That's because they're insane. They're utterly, utterly insane. 
You look how they're acting with the border, you look how they act on any number of things. They're insane. How, how in the hell they can want to create an androgynous species, I, it boggles my mind. I have no ideas. How do they expect the human race to reproduce? You do it with mother and father in marriage, raising children. That's how you reproduce the species. And if you create an androgynous species where nobody has any children, we die out. Duh. You think? Because we're mortal. And we have to have Women have to have children in order for the species to procreate. That's the bottom line. It's indisputable. But these people will argue with anything that is common sense. At any rate, that's what uh, so-called Pride Month and all that's about. They want to erase mother and father and erase... Women having children because don't you know every woman that has ch child she's a victim don't you know she's victimized that child is automatically a product of rape and she didn't know what she was doing you know that really pisses me off they consider women to be adults but they treat them like children in that res regard they tell them that they're always a victim, no matter what. They didn't know what they're doing. They shouldn't have had that child. They should have had it aborted. Because they're just being victimized by a man. Bullshit. Alright? It's just bullshit. Uh, and a lot of women, women ought to look at this and say, hey, what the fuck are they talking about? How can the left treat us like this? You know, a lot of women still want men, they want to have children. And yeah, so go through a lot of pain, childbirth and all that. And they'll go through joy and tears, but that's the way it is. Anyway, Enough of a rant. I thank you for watching. I am Artifacts of Mars. I stand by these comments. Have a nice day.